Welcome to WHM Mailbag, everybody. Holy smokes, folks. We are back, and we are better than ever. My name is Andrew Jupin. In a minute, I'm going to be joined by, well, just three of my best friends. Three of my best friends in the whole goddamn world, and we're excited to be here with you all this evening. The first uh, Mailbag episode in a real long time. We got some letters for you. We got some announcements. I hope you've had uh, an interesting and uh, safe uh, August. We've been uh, at our little summer retreat here, but we're back now, back to work. Uh, gonna bring in my buds. Here we go. Just one of the best around, and we're kind of wearing a similarly colored shirt, Mr. Eric Siska. Ooh, but yes, also the chat is a flutter over my championship. Oh, yeah, look at that. We'll be talking about that more in a minute, dude. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Yeah. You still riding high on the hog about that, huh? I'm so happy. <laughs> Speaking of hogs, you love them, Stephen Sadak. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't know. I'm doing my best here. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> Hello, uh, Jay man. Master. How's it How's going? going? Good, man. What's uh, that? What's that shirt? Jack Kirby, huh? It's a Jack Kirby shirt. Wow. Uh, from, you know what would be you funny? Know? If it was a Jack Kirby shirt, it said Jack Kirby on it, and it was a picture of Stan Lee instead. <laughs> oh, dude. No, yeah. That's the shirt we should make. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> this is a shirt uh, by Till Death Press. They do really, it's a very nice, comfortable shirt, too. They was this well. another, uh, you're getting oh, scammed on Instagram? Oh, absolutely. Really? Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> Nothing that I wear, anything in my house is off Instagram. I got my cat off Instagram. <laughs> IG cats. <laughs> Uh, and we'll bring him back in. He spent uh, the whole summer at the library, Mr. Oh, Chris no. Cabin. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, loser. <sighs> Wake up, loser. It's time to stream. What? Oh, it's, hold on. Hold on. You think he's naked? By okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, get back to work. You're working late tonight. <laughs> working late tonight. <laughs> What happened? You're working what late I, tonight. I'm not doing nothing. I don't want We're to. We're doing the mailbag. <laughs> no, the postmaster not... general of the show. Come on. It's for tomorrow. We don't we don't start till tomorrow. <laughs> Chris, I'm fine you with just starting been... tomorrow. Chris, have you been sleeping there like uh, since on screen live went off the air? Well, a month yeah, ago? I, haven't, I haven't gotten to trim <laughs> the same hat. Good old Man. caveman cabin. I just smell like shit. I know that's not like, you know, a longevity thing, but frozen you know, in amber, this it's, guy. Oh, fine. Okay. I smell hi. like shit. I know it. I, I know. It's fine. Yeah, it's but a good I'm, thing YouTube hi. doesn't have smell o vision. Coming not yet. soon. Coming not very yet. soon. Hopefully we are gonna right. we, that's how we're gonna monetize. That would be a great opening to the, the Captain America movie when they uh, de thaw like, Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. They would what have to all be, that, right? that caked up, uh, I was said ash shit. <laughs> shit is already that. Sure. Yeah. It's like no. in the crevasse of. Uh, dude, he's got the, the, the crusted up stuff. stone up there, man. That yeah. Thing, yeah. The dried out stuff. Fossilized. <laughs> oh, look. There he is. Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers. <laughs> 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 oh my god what is this is this a rock no that's a horse that's a man apple actually. that's why the red skull has no nose you know <laughs> <Fell off>. smart, <laughs> <Yeah>. smart. <laughs> what year is this oh you could it's uh 2028 you could show us that way you know right what here. we don't need your help captain America. <laughs> we, we changed our mind go back and ice the red skull can have it you know what he can have the whole thing he wins we, we give um yeah so we are here to read some letters, answer some uh, some cues later in the evening, uh, but we got a you know a bunch of announcements, just some news. We've been away from you guys Big for so long. We got some news here. So first up, just as a reminder, 
Uh, if you didn't get hip to it today, out now. What do you got there, Steve? And I'm sorry, the big announcement is that Chris and I are trying. Oh. <laughs> what does Give that me mean? <laughs> oh, oh, for for children. Oh, that's amazing, that's you guys. Are you kidding me? For the, it's for the new season. We didn't want to yeah. give it, but you'll yeah. see more when the when the when the show gets going. You'll you'll yes. know more. I know you're gonna want to, but don't name it after me. <laughs> Can't wait for the birth episode of We Hate Movies. It's, it's just, just a little crazy just, two part. Dude, it is season 14. Someone yeah. should get knocked up and then it's going to ruin the show. Yeah. Little Siska Sadak, you know? Mm. It, it, it's it, either someone gets knocked up or one of us wins the lottery. One <laughs> uh, no, oh, but out now, wherever you get pods, is our episode on Universal Soldier. Uh, and it's important twofold, folks. One, well, it's a great fucking episode. It was a great show mm -hmm. uh, in Phoenix, Arizona that we did last November. But also, at the front of it, it contains the finale of the VHS trailer game, which even if you know the results, mm. you're going to have to listen to it because it was neck and neck, real close shit, man. It yep. was a dramatic end to a dramatic season. And yeah. obviously, if you're listening, uh. Eric's spoiling it right now by, by cheering himself <laughs> on, uh. which is fine. <laughs> it's fine. I but, feel like just by yeah. looking in the chat, you know, a lot of everybody these knows. Folks, I'm, sure, oh, they know. I'm yeah. sure they know. These yeah. are first day listeners right here. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> They're getting up 5 a.m. downloading There's... that shit. Wait, why? Oh, you still have VHS? Why? why? Why are you doing that? <laughs> uh, no, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun sound effects in there. Um, <laughs> I suck shit at the VHS trailer game, but I still love playing it. So that's how much fun you know it is, folks. And we're a couple. We won't. Uh, I got to think of some wrinkles for the for next season. That that hasn't uh -huh. happened yet. I think we're a couple of weeks away Ooh. from uh, the initial the inaugural episode. <laughs> well, I think every uh, year we have a little more wrinkles. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, that's that's do something. Aging so I, works. Got to think. Yeah, of we something. should we should call this show. Uh, WHCF, we hate crow's feet. Mm -hmm. exactly. And uh, yeah, hit me on Twitter if you have any good ideas uh, or X or whatever the fuck we're calling it now. I I, I have Ooh. a Blue Sky account. I have not really, it's active, but I haven't done anything with it. No, yeah. So I'm you just on Twitter. You park just... the car there, you know, exactly. until, until it yeah. takes off. Exactly. Yep. I refuse to say X, by the way. It's fucking no, it's, Twitter. It's, it's, Fuck it's always been Twitter. It's Fuck always that been guy in the, the face. The, the best explanation I've heard of Blue Skies thus far is that it is actually like methadone for like not doing social media anymore because like it's there i'm signed up for it too right uh, but yeah. i'm not doing anything on it nobody <laughs> wants to do anything on it but you have it just in case whereas well, twitter what... twitter is like getting the dirty heroin that's like the bad stuff you don't want yeah. no, here's the thing kevin i'm on blue sky all the time but here's what it is it's like it's the no stakes version of Twitter. Hmm. Like, it's just chill. And like, I, you know, because it's like a back to just start from zero for me, I've been blocked crazy, man. And it makes Ooh, your life so nice. much easier. Like, if I don't give a fuck about something you had to say, <laughs> blibbity block. And I'm it's blue skies ahead, man. So, Love it. Love but it. yeah. Get at Steve with the good but, ideas. Save the bad ideas for yourself. We but, don't got but, time for that. But, but just like that, with X, like it, you don't have the thrill of possibly passing out in the middle of walking down the street. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have those little thrills that you could really fuck your life up if you yep. stick with this mm -hmm. thing, if you really wanted to. That's right. The good old days of Twitter being scared I was going to fucking sun down outside of a bodega, sure. Uh, all right, Chris Cabin, you're, you're our mailbag uh, sure. postmaster here. Why don't you get into that first one, buddy? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll start here. Air Roberts. I, I was very happy. This is a Connecticut uh, resident. Uh, oh. Who, uh, oh. Uh -huh. Wrote in. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. Do you know them? I, I do not, actually. <laughs> Although, hey, I mean, shout out if you're out there. Uh why do you Several rip off years. that address, Chris? What's, where, where are you at? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, okay. It's none of your business land. Got it. Uh, 1875. No, never mind. 69 uh, Fake <laughs> Street. There you go. Uh, <laughs> several years pre-COVID, my mom got upgraded to first class on a flight to LAX. Nice. The, the guy sitting next to her was about her age, but dressed, in her words, like a college student who hadn't done laundry in three weeks. Ooh, she that's noticed a, that's a that I'm sorry, but that's a super mom thing to say. Yes, right. Right. but maybe that like Steve Rogers ass. You know, <laughs> it's caked up. It's nice and caked, and he's yeah. just got. And all that's protecting her is sweatpants. It's that's like what a I think it is. Of shit. Yes. It really depends on the mom. This guy could be wearing a t-shirt and dungarees on that airplane, where they're like, "Oh, yep. I don't know about this guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't maybe know about mom, this guy." 
maybe this mom's one of those maniacs that's like, when you travel by air, you should dress for the occasion. Mm. Fuck you, sweatpants. How about yes. that? And a t-shirt. Yeah. I think he was smoking pot in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, she noticed he was reading yes. the script and realized he had to, he had to be an actor. Of course, she thought he looked familiar, but she Ooh. couldn't figure out who he was. Finally, she said, "I'm sorry, you look familiar, but I can't quite place you." He smiled like a light bulb and said, "Well, most people know my sister." more than they know me. Oh. Turns out it was Dr. Albert Beck himself, Eric Roberts. Oh my <laughs> God. Fuck yeah. Dude, flight of a lifetime. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm pinning him down. If this happens to me, I'm pin- he's getting oh, yeah. all the questions. And I, I'm you not bringing up the dark meat once. No, sir. You want more champagne, madam? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll pour for you. He'll <laughs> <laughs> take you to the home to ca- Caso San Luca. Oh, Cabo I just was, San Luca. Right. I'd be like, yeah. I'd be like, Mr. Roberts, thank you for the Stock by My Doctor series. When are we getting the next one? Who do I have to write to? What needs to happen here, mister? <laughs> was it, wasn't, wasn't P.T. Anderson attached? I mean, I, wh- who, who, do we have to, <laughs> who do we have to talk to to get this thing really off the, uh, off the launching pad here? Honestly, uh, speaking of PTA, I love Inherent Vice, but my big beef with it Way, way too little Eric Roberts in that movie. He did the. He just. I feel like when you're making L.A. movies, Eric Roberts just sort of shows up. He's like, <laughs> "Yeah, hey, is this movie about Los Angeles?" <laughs> oh, pardon me, I'm just here for the donuts. <laughs> I'm Margot Robbie's crooked father in Babylon. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I forgot that about right? that. Yes, he that's is. a wow. highlight of the film. It yeah. is. Still having, still happy with me over I here. I would still say a little too little, uh, Roberts, for that film as yes. well, especially considering the runtime. Ooh, <laughs> yes. It's always too little i mean with this man uh he mentioned a movie he had been in recently and told her she wouldn't like his character very much (laughs) because he throws a guy out of a window um (laughs) i don't know what movie this refers to and to be honest i don't have it in me to look through the 700 plus tribute credits to figure it out i think he's just bragging there like oh look how strong i am i threw a guy (laughs) through a window (laughs) i'll say this though i'll put it out to the chat if anyone out there has seen a recent eric roberts movie where he throws a man out a window you gotta let us know (laughs) oh actually madam can you believe it i'm actually doing the movie right now it's called a talking cat (laughs) yeah i don't make the rules i'm the talking cat yes i'm recording this on a telephone on an airplane that's why it sounds so good in the movie while holding a conversation (laughs) with someone next Well, no, yeah, of course I signed on for a trilogy, so we're going to be doing a talking parrot in the second half of the flight, and we're just going to use this road here. Um, They had a very nice conversation after that. At one point, he asked my mom if she liked to cook. She told him about a few of her favorite things to make, and he said... You'd love my neighbor, Chris Walken. No! He, He cooks the same way, and he's a great cook. Well, now I need to know what this cooking style That's is. That's a sitcom I want to watch. Yeah. Dude, God. They're neighbors? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Holy yeah. And he, smokes. Oh, no, he has to cook every meal in a walk, and it's walk-in with walk-in. <laughs> oh, you bet. I, 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 I think that, that well, that's me, about as good as Let me you're know going. how you took down Natalie Wood. I need it for my <laughs> next stalk by my doctor movie. <laughs> we need Are a you- good twist. Are you telling me that the King of New York lives next to the Pope of Greenwich Village? Is that what you're getting at right now? <laughs> oh, yes. Is that wow. what you're telling me? It's in Castle, wow. New York. <laughs> Your pasta sauce is thin. <laughs> Fuck, that's awesome. Uh, this is one of the greatest things I've ever learned. That she, Eric Roberts and Christopher Walken are neighbors. Allegedly. They're very close. Oh, yeah, we'll see. This, he might have been making are, it up. These are tall tales, perhaps. <laughs> Wait, these aren't legally binding documents? No, no they are no, not. Sad not. To say. Oh, I've been doing this all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we did get them notarized. Yeah. <laughs> Quickie do. We got, I know a guy. Uh, she also told him about a research project she was working on mm-hmm. that she hoped would result in her publishing a book. He was very enthusiastic about it and said he would love to be involved if it was very, if if it was ever adapted for film, and here's the uh, thing, got it. In, in, every other person in Always Hollywood, selling, baby. it would be full of shit. Eric Roberts actually means that because yes. when has he ever said no to a motion picture? Hustling, <laughs> always hustling. That's, if it's that's a, the trick right there. If yeah. it's a movie, he wants to be in it. That's that's the rule, yep. and it's a it's a great rule. 
Wow, a 24 frames a second. Sign me up. <laughs> oh, God, you do a sequel to a Serbian film where I love to show up in that one. Could I play the new baby? I mean, this sounds true to life, too. Remember the cameo you got, uh, Chris, last year? He was like, invite me. I want to be on the show. Yeah. Oh, you're right. He was very enthusiastic. He was. You got 50 bucks in a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> He said, I don't do any of the social media stuff, but here's no. my wife's email address. <laughs> oh, what? Yes. Let me know when your book comes out. Wow. Uh, okay. Amazing. Uh, she, she's still working on the book. And uh, unfortunately, is she working on her? Isn't just that? Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. yeah. She's still working on the book and unfortunately lost track of the email address. How? Oh, How? Oh, no. How? That would, oh, ne- that would not happen. Fucked no. up. I got a number off uh, in the suit. It's a uh, Uma. Uma. <laughs> well, no, you know, you, do, you just call up Christopher Walken, and then you uh, oh, right. say, "Could you go? To, could you run next door and tell Eric? Hey, Eric, I got a phone call for you. <laughs> Eric, phone's ringing. <laughs> I'm so sick of people calling me for Eric Roberts, my next door neighbor. Hi." <laughs> I- gotta get out of the book this is <laughs> embarrassing my phone number is public information anyway i'm making my specialty it's new jersey pad thai <laughs> uh she's still working on, uh, and uh but i'm sure if it ever makes it to the screen he'll be in it anyway but that uh, by then it will probably be his 1000th project let's hope so mm. do you guys have any good stories about airplane seat companions uh mm. thanks for the many years of laughs the show has gotten me through some very tough times my wife and i listen to it so much i'm pretty sure our cats know your voices as well as they do ours susanna in connecticut thank nice. you susanna well thank you uh, uh airplanes yes airplane stories sitting next to people i don't really have one there i think i already told one on the show before about how i almost got into a fight with an old man and i called him a grampy there's so many of oh, those that was, at this that point. was literally when we were going on tour the same yeah. tour that the universal soldier uh right. episode was and from. then I, that was the fight it was on a the airplane. flight to cleveland or something and i was i yelled at this guy for being in my seat and i really let him have it and it turns out i was wrong uh, <laughs> I and then I um, sat next to him. Good job, Eric. I I mean the opposite of that story. I'm too nice, and I I, I don't know how to stop. If someone starts talking to me, I'll let it happen. And I got yeah. one time on our flight, my flight to Charlotte. Speaking of going on tour, I were going to, on tour. I was like by myself going to Charlotte. It was late. It was like seven o'clock, like early earlyish flight. And this, I, I got what I call gentleman's first class, which is there's no mm-hmm. one sitting in between Love in that. the aisle yeah. when you're in an aisle, somebody else is in the window. I was, and there's no one in between. It's like amazing, and I'm like, this yeah. is an amazing situation. And the woman two seats down from me, she's a little bit older than me, but man, just like casual. What do you do for a living? I do the day job thing, so you never say what, what you never say, talk about podcast. But when I tell you we talked the entire flight and I was no. exhausted. It's like a two hour end. flight. It's like a two hour flight. And it was, it was a very pleasant Steven. conversation. But it no, wasn't... it wasn't, though, no, dude. You know what I mean? Steven. Exactly. <laughs> like, it just I kept trying to let that happen. Like, I got my book here. I got my podcast. So what was her deal? Just like nothing going on I pure couldn't remember. well of sadness that needed I, to be placated i couldn't remember a thing about this woman again she's incredibly nice she's wellish to do if i remember correctly but man just sort of like i i, I and I, I don't mind a, a quick chit chat like i feel like when you're sitting down like getting your shit together in the plane like you, you would kind of have a not an introducing like hello my name is but like sort of, you know you we'll the, be flying next to one another today <laughs> but you do the hey as it go man blah 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 and if that turns into a small conversation but then the wheels go up and so does the the lips what's funny yeah. is no i, I don't no. think anyone's ever tried to talk to me on an airplane I think or I anywhere a, really i have a face in which people approach me a lot i just do yeah. i don't know i don't know why that is you gotta work on that resting bitch face exactly yes. yeah that's you got outside the show i look like a, I, i'm mad all the time that's what, how i <laughs> yeah, present myself too. to the world keep keep it to a friendly nod steven you don't gotta start talking to these people that's mm-hmm. you know a nice sharp like Hey, how you doing? That's it. That's all you <laughs> got to do. And then you sit down. And then uh, my trick is always every time, put your headphones back in 
and take them off. Take a little extra time taking them off so they have to repeat themselves every time uh, they try to yeah. restart something <laughs> yes. up. Oh, that wow. is that, very good, dude. That, that that really does put them in a bind if they want to have a conversation with me. <laughs> and uh, I, I found it very helpful. I will say, I think I've told this story before. I was on the same flight as uh, Jenny McCarthy uh, and her book betrothed, Don Wahlberg. Oh, uh, sure. And one of the uh, flight attendants would like was glued to them was like asking them about all their projects knew the names of all their projects wow so she, she, they singled her them out Very, <laughs> and i thought it was oh. over when i when i landed and i i come out traveling with the dog at the time stuff's out there and Donnie Wahlberg is petting my dog. <laughs> oh shit! So you put it, you put the dog down right after this. I, right? I, I did. I had to. I got a clone, much like if everybody's seen Tabloid. I got a clone of my dog <laughs> uh, just to Great make sure movie. this was kind of so I could burn the original. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, it's it, that was my big one. Also, I, I was on uh, the same flight as uh, one of my favorite directors, Apichat Pong. Where's the thoughtful? I know I butchered that. Sorry. A peach upon where is Setha cool? There we go. Uh, yeah. He and he he was a very nice across the aisle mate. I don't think I've ever had a celebrity on my flight. Just as an FYI, I, I don't think I've ever noticed. Oh really? It. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've got a, just two. One time uh, I went to South by and there and back I was on the same flight as character actor Michael Kelly. Oh nice. And, Who? Uh, the guy uh, from he was on House of Cards. He's in the Zack Snyder Dawn of the I'll Dead. tell you. I'll tell you exactly yeah. who is Eric. He's the guy that works for GI Joe at the end of Transformers. Oh, yes. oh yes. right. Okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's Stanford. He's yeah, like yeah, the yeah. middle manager Stanford, guy. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So if that plane went down, it would not be remembered at all. Either way. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, and one time we were playing Chicago, and on the way out, uh, I was on the same flight as Maya Rudolph, and she oh, seemed nice. totally pleasant. Also, I keep huge over the head uh air headphones on at all times and i look angry constantly mm -hmm. no mm -hmm. one ever tries to talk to me on a plane I, the, I always do aisle so they will like excuse themselves and i will pleasantly be like oh yeah no problem but those things stay on i'm not saying hi mm -hmm. i don't give a flying a glare I like that you're and a furled brow i like that you're so pleasant you let people go to the bathroom as opposed to being like <laughs> <laughs> you know what step over me headphones step over me. More, more than twice are you serious <laughs> you got Why a cup for water earlier do it there? <laughs> uh but yeah so there you go there um you go. Another big announcement, by the oh, way, oh, oh, oh. just to get this out. Speaking yes, of uh, going on tour, you know, uh, this December, the 7th of December, we will be at White Eagle Hall in Jersey City, New Jersey, talking about the Tim Allen Santa Claus movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, folks. I'm I excited for this one. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen this movie like at least 15 times. Really? It was a big it was a big holiday staple around my house growing up. Probably only once or twice for me. It's been no, that's it, it was in the middle. It wasn't a big like every year we're watching this. I definitely uh -huh. think we saw it in theaters and we had it on tape, but it wasn't it didn't get a lot of spins. If I don't believe it's uh, gotten the most <laughs> spins of any tim allen movie i have to oh imagine. sure other than galaxy quest i mm. guess right. is the uh -huh. exception but i always just that, remember him like one. holding his big belly yes and going, Ooh, i got a belly yeah. now uh -huh. and there's like there's weird body horror where like his he's looking in the mirror right. and he turns from tim allen to santa claus and yeah. it's like <laughs> fucking bone chilling yeah. yeah we watched that a lot and then i didn't see either of the sequels until we did that third one with martin yes. short for an episode, and I've still never seen the second the one. The second I, one's maybe the weirder. weirdest of the bunch. I mean, we have to do he's like something. forced to get married or something. He's forced to get married. There's the like fake, a, the fake claws is that creepy has no as butt all out. or something. Yeah. He's oh, what, like, like a robot. He's yeah, like a robot, but he's like plastic looking. It's, yeah, it's, it's really gross. Gross. chilling. Yeah. It's God downright damn. chilling. But yeah, we're gonna be at White Eagle <laughs> Hall in Jersey City uh, on December the 9th. Seven, seven, seven. Even better. Just remember Pearl Harbor. Yeah, yes, it's Pearl Harbor Day, Steve. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like Steve Sadak doesn't appreciate American history. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> I do not. Uh, uh, but those tickets are on sale now. You can go to whmpodcast.com. Our tour page has all the info there. It's going to be fun, man. It's going to be a holiday spectacular. I might be wearing a hat. 
Oh, that's not that. like a hat like this. Like maybe get some Santa hats or something. It's a night to remember. You're gonna want to come out. You're gonna be telling your grandkids about that. Maybe night. we'll do ugly sweaters. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that might maybe be a little hot on stage. It's, you know, I'm definitely not but doing it. You could do an ugly sweater and come to the show. That I just kind of feel you. like as Steve was sort of referencing, like oh, it's ugly sweaters are over. We're kind of done. Oh yeah, I guess kind of right. done. Right. Every Hallmark movie is like. Go to an ugly sweater. Look, Christmas takes three and a half months at a Hallmark Christmas movie. <laughs> yeah. you, you show up around September and you're doing shit until the 25th. And then yes. it's like, well, I got to go to this ugly sweater co contest. And then someone's like, ooh, ugly sweater. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then an Old Navy commercial breaks out. Exactly. Uh, okay. Letter number two. There we yeah. go. An actual giant woman. Ooh! Hey guys, this isn't about movies, but I feel like you discussed the topic enough to make it relevant. I have, <laughs> <laughs> sadly, uh, yeah, I happen yeah. to be well, kind of a giant woman. Okay. Uh, at a ter <laughs> at a terrifying five feet eleven tall, I roam the countryside, spending too much on uh, <laughs> pants, looking weird in group photos, and avoiding men who ask me if I've ever heard of R. Crumb. Very oh funny man, joke. that's. But you know actually, what? That's the, the movie joke is good. The movie is really good. Uh, it's a joke, yeah. but it's a thing that happens though to her. I guarantee I'm sure. it is. Uh, when I was 26, I moved to the Hudson Valley from upstate and thus oh. had to find a new doctor. I was referred to one who seemed fine. Small dude, probably in his 60s, serious Bernie Sanders energy. Mm -hmm. We call uh, him BSE. <laughs> <laughs> You're too damn tall. Uh, during my initial <laughs> visit, everything was normal, and he did make a few remarks about my height after measuring, uh, measuring me, but I wrote it off as small talk. What yeah, a fool I was. Uh -huh. uh, what a fool I was. Of course, the height remarks continued. Oh, no. <sighs> You'd be six foot three or taller if you were a man. What? You're okay. lucky to be so tall. I've always been shorter than everyone, even my girlfriend. Oh, oh no. my oh. God. <laughs> Steve, I think I'm going to have to hear one of these as a Bernie Sanders impression. I was going to say, <laughs> you're very tall for a woman. Is your boyfriend tall? Oh. <laughs> That's a real <laughs> oof. I'm working for this group called Nexium. Uh, they're looking for <laughs> many, many new girlfriends. Pardon um, me, madam. I would like to climb you. Like a Christmas tree. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Keith Raineri? <laughs> Guy's a genius. Can you carry a cell phone tower uh, signals <laughs> up there where you are? Or what? That's got to be really. I, let me be a prof. I am profoundly attractive to you, madam. Uh, <laughs> just in case you didn't know. Uh, never anything too weird, but it was enough to make things awkward. <sighs> then, after uh, I'd been seeing him for about a year, it happened. I lost weight, and he asked me if it was an intentional, and if it was intentional. I told him it was, and he asked if I was planning on losing much more, trying desperately to escape the subject. I told him I was happy at my current weight and feeling much better, and this motherfucker says, got to do Bernie Sanders' voice, I'm so happy to hear that because you're so <laughs> tall and so strong. Oh, no. If you ever, if we ever got married, I bet you could carry me over the threshold. Oh, <laughs> I, oh man! I, I, and I'm gonna go totally. If we ever got married, you might even put out an, an apparatus and peg me. I, I'm just being crazy right now. I'm making a joke. So, oh do you God. want to see my diary? There's a lot about it in there, actually. <laughs> you can just carry him and peg him the whole way home. Yeah. Rhyme like a horsey. Yes. This is great. Two birds with one stone. I'm getting <laughs> fucking pegged and I'm getting a ride home. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, yes, so, per a person I've met six times. I have not thought about us getting married for at least two days now. <laughs> Let me talk about getting married as I do your vaginal exam. You feel uncomfortable? Why? <laughs> I want to so, jack yeah. off on the beanstalk. Get it? <laughs> oh. Uh, so, I like that. That's so, great. That, that's so, a t-shirt. <laughs> that is a boardwalk t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, the other day I was at a, a girls' volleyball tournament that I wasn't invited to. <laughs> 
Uh, I was so, a volunteer referee. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> uh, so yeah, now my doctor is a delightful woman who talks about gardening. Has never mentioned my height. Uh, however, have you guys ever in, uh, encountered an inappropriate medical professional? Thanks for making me laugh. Uh, my chat, uh, take that again, uh, even though we're live. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. But yeah, no, no, you know what? Go right ahead. Dude. I'm going to do this it. This is how the sausage is made. Uh, it's, the, uh, it's the first one back. Thanks for making me laugh at my giant castle at the top of the beanstalk, Tiffany in NY. Um, thank, you, Tiffany. thank you, Tiffany. Do I have any inappropriate medical professional stories? No, it's confidential between me and my doctor. Yeah, that would be a HIPAA, that'd be a HIPAA violation. Yeah, he made me sign an NDA. <laughs> I could say. Yeah. Oh, no, you, you had a good one. I'm sorry. He also made me sign a do not resuscitate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So he just kissed the captain of the Spanish soccer team. I don't see what the big fucking deal is. They're about your height, right? <laughs> I remember that last joke was me doing the pervert doctor. Okay. That's, that's right. Yeah. You know, it'd be hilarious. You know, it'd be fucking hilarious. If you, when my nurse came in, I was sitting in your lap. That'd be so <laughs> weird, right? <laughs> She'd uh, get a real laugh out of it. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. I, so uh, my mom used to work at a uh, blah blah blah, a uh, a medical facility on Fordham Road in the Bronx, and you know, you, it, the good thing was, uh, you know, it was a union gig, so that was good. And you know, whenever you were remotely sick, you, you'd uh -huh. go, you'd go up to mom's job. There'd be fifty five fucking doctors at HMO. The one I always went to was this older French gentleman. Um, and you know, I was a kind of a heavy French kid. guy in the Bronx. Yes, <laughs> mm. uh, I feel like that's a children's book. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, was a I, I certainly don't think he was living. On oh, oh the yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Um, <laughs> but he and he's like a fr friendly with my mother, friends with my mother because my mom was gonna work there, co workers. And door would close, I'd be like, I got a cold, and he's like, Yeah, it's because you're so fat, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh, you're she's, you just put on too much weight. That's why your your, your lungs, like, every, anything I went in there for <laughs> no. as a little fat kid was you're too fat. It's because uh -huh. Uh -huh, you're very fat. We're like, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I fucking sprained my pinky in dodgeball the other day. You're too fat, and that's why yeah. that is. Yeah, wow, I, I've incredible. heard that too. Did mm -hmm. did you did you see this doctor for real, Steve? Was this? Are you sure this French guy wasn't just fucking scamming you? Like <laughs> this, 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 this sounds like some fake shit. Like, well, oh no, guy... yeah, hepatitis. That's from Big Fat too. <laughs> yes, as well. That as well. Yeah. Oh, I, I would uh, just imagine he would want to do more than just talk about his overweightness if it was just some guy <laughs> dragging him around. <laughs> That's how I, you get them uh, through, though, isn't it? Like, like you just like you break oh, them no, like yeah. a horse. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. The problem, <laughs> the problem with you is you're too fat. Okay. Next patient. Yes, you're too fat as well. That's <laughs> as well. Okay. Next patient. You're not, another five hundred dollars. Thank you very much. Can you believe I make three hundred thousand dollars a year? <laughs> oh, I, I I can imagine why you're you're having trouble sleeping. Look at your fat ass. Yeah, I just love the idea that your lungs like there's too much fat. It's just <laughs> destroying your innards somehow. It is. <laughs> yeah. I uh, haven't had any like inappropriate medical professionals. I don't believe I had a a real asshole dentist one time mm. that was like really fucking laying into me about brushing my teeth and like. You know, I got to do better about this. How did my parents not teach me better about this? And I was like. Jesus. You can go fuck yourself. And I like after that appointment, I was just like, Mom, straight up find a new dentist because that guy was go. a douchebag. For, he was a fucking douchebag. And, and yeah. for him, for them to do that in 2021, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's not, we already know. We know what to do now. I was, I saw my bad experience is also from a dentist in which I, after being prepped at everything for a root canal, I waited for, Ooh. I'm not, I, uh, for real, uh, hour, three hours. No, before what? the guy came back in the room to finish, the thing. Jesus. and it you wasn't like setting anything or anything like that. Yeah. It wasn't like anything That's that had insane. to wait. It was That's just like a long time. You know, sometimes they would split up a root canal and then you'd come back later. But the weird three hours is way too long. No, yeah. no, it was, we hadn't even started yet. There wasn't anything to like do. It was you just, were just like, in the chair, just in the chair with like the the little <laughs> for bib three on hours that, for three hours. <laughs> was it? Was there a guy with a clipboard that was like monitor? Like a this is I like came a, out. I came out. Stanford prison experiment. <laughs> <laughs> I came out like twice and like saw the guy 
like eating lunch at, over a computer. He's giving you that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Literally. Yes. Yes. It, wow. Exactly. Incredible. That's Terrible. That's wild. That sucks. Um, yeah. That was my fault. <laughs> ma'am, ma'am, can I borrow your hand for a second? You put it right here. I must be this tall to ride this ride. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> um, so Eric Siska. Yes, sir. As we all understand it now, of course, you are the champion of uh, this mm-hmm. season's VHS trailer game. And yes, so sir. next week, the season 14 premiere is something. It's a redo episode. It is. Of- choosing so what uh did you decide we're gonna watch my friend well next week next tuesday or whenever you listen anyway the next episode (laughs) star wars episode one the phantom menace wow look at that look at this i am knee deep in watching this movie i had to stop it i still have 40 minutes left is that right yeah that's absolutely you you always feel like the horse in a never-ending story with this movie every (laughs) fucking time you turn it on you're like well i'm gonna die here this is how i fucking die please let me drown in the quicksand (laughs) we're recording it tomorrow and um we're excited to get into it folks Mm -hmm. yeah it's gonna be awesome um and oh speaking of uh stuff returning of course uh so a week from this coming Monday, which is the 11th of September, On Screen Live comes back to this very YouTube oh, channel. Yeah. Wow, I'll never forget that date. I can't wait for it. I'll be really <laughs> excited for that to show up. Well, I don't know, gonna... man. You can't remember Pearl Harbor, which is also <laughs> one that, you know. Well, yeah, I didn't live through it, dude. <laughs> I didn't have it in my backyard. It That's is going to be an explosive premiere for the on screen live program. I knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I fucking knew it. Um, but, uh, you know, we're going to be going over the, you know, what is going on at the box office. We've been away from it for quite some time. Uh, we'll be doing some uh, what we watched on our summer vacation talk. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's going to be a lot of fun. So the 11th uh, at 12 noon Eastern, as they say. Yeah. Um, all right. So is this this one's me, Chris Cabin? That's yes, okay. you for sure. <clears throat> the other lane boy. Hey, guys. I don't know when the last time you did a mailbag was at this point. Well, Jesus fucking Christ. Well, it has, it has Ooh, been a yeah. while since we've been here, but we've been on break. Um, and I don't know if anyone will see this. But I was at your live show for the Birdcage, <laughs> and all the Nathan Lane love reminded me about this nut at about his nut bar brother. So nut, I bar. Figured, nut bar. Yeah. Nut bar is a good one. You don't get Allegedly like that one, nut bar. Yeah. <laughs> sure. uh, this guy's so nut rageous. <laughs> I figured I'd share this with you. All right. In 2001, my high school announced that we were getting a new principal with a famous brother. Dan Lane. Wow. <laughs> they when hyped this up for You gotta weeks. call him Dane, I think, at that point. Dane Lane. Yeah, Come on. Dane. It's, Dane. it's right there. Yeah. Um, maybe he was born Dane Lane and it like he was like pissed off at his parents about it. It's like all that rhyming sucks. I'm it's Dan now. Daniel E. Lane now. All right, here we go. They hyped him for weeks. We had to read an article about him and his relationship with his brother in our English <laughs> class article. to prepare our hearts and minds for this man. Hey, 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 everybody gets a copy of Brothers Magazine, where they oh, all yes. talk about the brothers of famous people every time. Do you know Patrick Wilson has a brother? <laughs> <laughs> I would be interested in actually thumbing through that periodical, maybe in a yeah. doctor's office, you know. Sure. Uh, yeah, I would definitely leaf through that on a plane while not talking with anybody. Uh, okay. In their defense, he totally lived up to the hype. Dude was out there. Sounded exactly like Nathan Lane would hijack morning announcements to tell us, I love you all. Wow, okay. <laughs> Got into a legit cat and mouse game with some student who kept pooping on the bathroom floors. Of course. I want more about that. You're about to get it. (laughs) Oh, good. He'd also come on to the PA to tell the mystery pooper that he would catch him. (laughs) I will catch you if you're out there. I'll get you. And just add a general sense of giddy chaos to the building. Sounds exactly what you want in a school administrator. Uh, His star shone bright and burned out fast, though. Damn. There was an altercation in which he was approached by several parents one night. 
Nobody knows what? why, but he what? disappeared like a Catholic priest within days. Did they was, beat him up? Was it, is was he Freddy Krueger now? Is exactly. Like, does, does he now get people in their dreams? How does this work? He's Hakuna making, Matata! He's just making everybody live through the Bo's Afraid scenes for uh, with Nathan Lane now. That's, you all have to experience that firsthand. That's interesting that he was just gone. Just, Oops. yeah. That's mysterious. Um yeah. I was lucky enough to have had two interactions with him during his stint. Once when I made a really uh, patronizing picture of him in Photoshop for photography class, it featured his face translucent and superimposed over the exterior of the building with, quote, I have a dream written on it. Mm. I don't know about that. Yeah. Nope. Atomic Sands, as was the fashion at the time. I showed it to him in an attempt at being a little shit boy, but he not only missed the joke, joke, he framed it in his office and tracked me down later in the day to bring a thank you card to me during my health class. I think this is what the parents came to him about. I think the fact that <laughs> yeah, they yeah. saw this in the fucking office and we're like, right. yeah. what the fuck is that? It could, no, could, no, you got to go. I'm sorry. Yes. This has got to stop. Uh, imagine Nathan Lane's voice booming, saying, "This kid's an artist. You gotta <laughs> see what he made for me." I wished I was dead. <laughs> then, at our senior prom, my buddy and I asked him to take a picture with us. He put his arms around our shoulders. See, now this I think is what the parents came up to him for. Brace yourselves. <laughs> He put his arms around our shoulders, and as we were waiting for the picture, he said just loud enough for us to hear and nobody else, say fellatio, say cunnilingus. <laughs> Look, Allegedly. Uh, those, those are normal things you say. It's like cheese or like <laughs> yeah. happy, yeah. any of those Mile. things. Mm -hmm. it just whenever happens. I whenever I'm in charge of children, that's what I talk about <laughs> every time. Every every time. Just, it was the senior prom, Steve. <laughs> that's right, man. Uh, you're adults now. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna be. <laughs> By the end you of like that. it or not, apparently. <laughs> uh, the man was nuts, and I cherish these weird memories. Thanks for reading, and I hope you enjoyed. Any stories of weirdo staff in your schools or people who really want you to know about their famous siblings? Big fan of all your pods. Looking forward to seeing you in December at White Eagle Hall. Seamus from Jersey. Oh, thank you, Seamus. Now, uh, Chris, did uh, Donnie Wahlberg talk about his famous sibling at all? <laughs> uh, he, he did not bring a, a Marcus up. No, he did not. Mm, uh, that's too sad, bad. Sad to say. I had an adversarial relationship with my, uh, <laughs> my grade school principal, like the one that I... In seventh grade, I really started coming to my own as a little shit boy, like being Ooh, yeah, yeah. sarcastic. Like that's uh -huh. how people that's how people stopped making fun of me and started to like me a little bit. So I really amped that up. Yes. Uh and the, the Pooperty, by the way. You go through poop pooperty to become a shit boy, shit. Exactly. Man. And then you become oh. a shit shit podcaster. Of course. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. I had uh the, the new principal was a doctor of music, which was hilarious. Uh and was it Dr. Funk, dude? It was Dr. Something, I won't say. No. <laughs> uh, and he had a kind of a largish red mole on his head. And I swear to God, when I tell you that I took red construction paper and I made a puppet, and I swear to God, <laughs> no teachers were way. cool enough. Teachers were cool enough with me during the opening <laughs> announcements that when he was doing the announcements in the morning, I'd have the puppet and I'd do this <laughs> oh with red God. construction paper. And at least one teacher uh, brought another teacher in to watch the show. Uh, oh, wow. Like, Star is born. <laughs> you got to see this mean little bastard. Make did, they all of did they all hate the doctor? Oh, did they, they hated, all... they yeah, hated okay, the doctor. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay, so, all right. Yeah. And like, there that's was just incredible. A... That's amazing. So uh, we had a, uh, we had a, a, a gym teacher slash football coach who was like locally famous because he was like, the arena football like wide receiver celebrity whoa and uh his football nickname and then his real name after it touchdown eddie brown oh that's awesome mm. he uh once was arrested for throwing his mother down a flight of stairs <laughs> uh -huh. um, well okay first of all 
What, that's what, that, what that's literally to, public. That's public record. That was the newspapers. But how how did she start up to get it to this point? <laughs> yeah, I, how was this I, her fault? Is what we really want to know. Okay, how many Come stairs? On. How many stairs? You know, was it just the stoop of the house? That's not. Uh, the, I, I think don't it's know. Uh, touchdown, Eddie Brown. Love uh, it. Uh, he was, you know, who he is. Steve? I'm just he's, picturing he's, someone throwing a woman down a flight of stairs and doing a touchdown dance. Or something. <laughs> well, what, wouldn't you know it? I, I don't know if it was started in newspapers or what, but for a while, the unfortunate nickname was indeed uh, "Throw Down Eddie Brown." I believe. Uh, well, you oh, do yeah. not say. Of course, yeah. Yeah. And Steve, you know who that dude is—the father of no disgraced NFL star uh, Antonio Brown. Oh, there you go. Runs in the yeah. family. I love it. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that, I think, that's I think, my Eddie, story I think well. Eddie, 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 Eddie at least turned turned his life around. There you go. And just, I think there's time for Antonio to. The, yeah, so there's time for to throw away his career. Exactly. Uh, uh, yeah, but that's that's the only I think because we didn't have any other celebrities around the school or or. Right, Chris. I'm not. No, not that some, I can some, think of. Some no. sibling of a celebrity. No. <laughs> no, I can't remember that ever happening. No. Yeah. Uh, so another quick uh, thing of big news here. If you Ooh. were around um, the WHM averse yesterday, you saw that this one online. But if you haven't uh, yet learned, we have an all new revamped WHM archive that's available on the Patreon. Uh, now, this sucker you can get access to, folks, starting at just the $5 level. Um, and it is your own private RSS feed that you can paste into your podcatcher app, whichever one you use. Uh, and you can download. All of those episodes used to be in that janky as fuck Google Drive folder. Right now, they are in a place where they will all live forever. It's over a hundred uh, old ass episodes. It's a ton of early like animation, damnation. All those episodes on Mission Impossible we did right. ages classic ago. old episodes. Oh, yeah. Baby I'm, cakes, hider in the house. I'm pretty sure the Tobolowski and J Mike Nelson and Joel Hodgson interviews are all on that. They yep. are. That's when we were doing, when, back when we were doing interviews, um, <laughs> <laughs> they're the good. Best, those are the fun. The best. Yeah. Well, those are all great. I, I really love that Gilbert interview we did, but that's on the free feed. So if we're talking yes. interviews, check out the Gilbert uh, Gottfried episode as well. Um, that's right. I do want to say a little. Hey, that's amazing. That it, it's now so much easier to w listen to that stuff. You don't have to like download anything. You can just pop it in right to Spotify if you want, or any RSS. Feed. Not, it, actually, everything but Spotify. <laughs> but anything but okay, because Spotify <laughs> apparently does not let you insert. Your own, RSS your own feeds RSS into it, so. but they've yeah. now partnered with Patreon, so you can link your account from Spotify to Patreon and get the Patreon exclusive content, except for the archive. That's what I got. Mixed, that's what I got mixed up about. Yeah. But yes. regarding that, um, those old episodes, folks. Someone yesterday, uh, on top of that message, said St Star Trek Into Darkness, Steven Sadak's favorite movie of 2013, referencing more than likely me being positive about Star Trek Into Darkness in the year 2013. I'm sure were, that I was. We I just all want to be were really, pretty positive. We're all we're positive. So it's it's okay. But I'm here's the thing: pretty positive. Uh, I just I don't know who those people were. Whoever did that's those true. shows, I just want to be really clear, and that's what we're going to learn tomorrow. Listen to the voices. They're, that's not us. It doesn't no. sound like us at all. It's not it's us. Not. I, you you know, still I, send them letters. Be honest. You still <laughs> talk, you talk to them correspondence. You have epistolary, uh, you know, communication. But I don't know who those gentlemen are. Uh, I can't. I can't vouch for anything that they say, do, or sure. believe. But, but it's. It's also. Let's. We're not going to relitigate that. I do. I was charmed by the central cast. That's why I still kind of like Into Darkness. But yeah. opinions change over time, and they that's do a indeed. good thing. Exactly. Yeah, I rewatched all those Kelvin movies, and the third one's my favorite now. So who the yeah. fuck knows what can happen? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That Into Darkness would be way better if it wasn't con. It was just fucking stupid that it was exactly. con. Exactly. And stupid. that's that's that. And then we're yeah. doing the reverse at the end with Spock. The whole yep. the, yeah, yep. it's just it's a lot. But yep. it's still pretty kind of good. Kind of still sorted. fun. Yeah, it's still it's fun. It's still fun movie. Mm -hmm. Um, but anyway, yes, yeah, starting at that five dollar level, folks, the access episodes two through one oh nine. That is a lot of us finding our footing. Uh, but <laughs> Folks love it. It's there now. Much more easier to access. Now, Eric Siska, yes. we've got one last email. And I'll say before this email mm -hmm. is read, uh, folks, we're going to do some cues at the other end of the final promo. Mm -hmm. So and then start the, thinking and about then some the cues. Big, and then those big, big announcement, that big old honking announcement after those cues, right? No, it's <laughs> after your email. We'll do the big honker. Oh, the big honker yeah. after the email, folks. Here That's we go. right. So let's I see. do it. Okay, Oppenheimer on Oppenheimer. 
I think I'm reading this one because I'm the guy that saw it four times. <laughs> Hell That's what yeah, I was dude, doing. I'm jealous. That's what I was doing on break, is seeing Oppenheimer over and over again. That's <clears> awesome. <throat> Hello. <clears throat> Take sausage, sausage being made, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, WHM gang. With all the hubbubaloo about Barbenheimer, recently me and my buddy decided to make a day out of it and saw Barbie at 11.30 a.m., then went across town to another theater to see Oppenheimer at 10.30 p.m. on 70 millimeter. Wow, that 10.30 a, p.m. That's a crazy. That's crazy. Also seeing a movie that early and then waiting almost 12 hours to watch <laughs> another one in the theater. Yeah. Wow. Take a long stroll. I, I guess. just I just back to backed it, dude. I think I had about like forty five minutes betwixt. Yeah, yeah. My original uh, viewing was back to back as well. Just got it done. All right. This goes on to say, knowing the crowds for both films, we thought uh, the bigger costumes and uproarious crowds would be at Barbie, but to our surprise, it was mostly just twenty somethings in pink, respectfully enjoying the film. Nice. Good I on like that respect. Mm -hmm. yeah. Respect. You don't hear much about it these days. Respect. <laughs> they respect Mattel. They respect Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> and then we arrived at the lovely Music Box Theater, which if you Hell haven't yeah. checked out, Great make a trip theater. there the next time you're in Chicago. It's awesome. Can I yeah. tell you a quick a quick story Please. about the Music Box? Please. Uh, we went there. It was me uh, and friends of the show, Justin J. Case and Sean Weiner, I believe. And uh, Steve, maybe we were there for this. Uh, we went to see Cache, Michael Haneke's Cache. Did not do this. Okay, so it was, maybe it was just the three of us. Uh, so I'm just watching Cache. I'm totally into it, but I'm like zoned out. Wasn't stoned or anything, just kind of zoned out. And I sort of like didn't even realize it, but the whole movie I had just, I was curling my mustache. Mm -hmm. Like on both sides, just watching this movie, curling my mustache. And the lights come up after this like fucking weird, you know, it's a Michael Haneke movie, yeah. fucking weird movie. Uh, lights come up and JJ turns and looks at me and sees this hilarious curled mustache <laughs> and starts scream laughing in the theater. <laughs> it was uh, awesome. But that is a beautiful fucking theater in Chicago. They do cool stuff. And I remember liking that movie, even though I wasn't at that school. Oh, I love that movie. Yeah, it's a good one. So they went to the music box theater and boy, were they shocked. As we take <laughs> our seats in the middle of this crowded theater, we notice a man who must have been at least... 30 strut down the aisle and to the front row dressed head to toe like j robert oppenheimer <laughs> oh what in the fuck <laughs> we chuckled for a second and said oh that's kind of funny <laughs> As you that should. Kind of funny. yeah that's the bad. appropriate reaction to that yeah good right. gag i you know what? i won't i won't it's not oppenheimer unless you got that southwestern belt buckle that's yeah the, oh yeah, yeah i mean you gotta have the hat the big hat's hat. gotta be flat. big big hat Big hat. Yes, yes. Got to be pipe. standing like this a lot, you know, mm. with your hands like on your the back of your hips. Mm -hmm. You got to weigh will... eighty pounds. That's so that's the big thing. That's the big thing. But also, if you want to do a special, I will do him in his little uh, military outfit when he's trying yeah. to impress everybody okay, and yeah. tell everybody mm -hmm. where to go. Uh, and <laughs> I think that I think it's a good uh, a, a second one. I gotta say, my Halloween costume has changed. It's not Oppenheimer anymore. It's Pat J. Pespis from Telemarketers, <laughs> man. Any Ooh, fucking outfit. I is still have not checked it out yet this is My the new God. hbo show the docu series and just uh, you know with the, with the jersey acts like i could do the whole character i i, I might do this oh, oh really no, that's pat nice. the tapper no yeah you <laughs> doing pat the tapper over there. <laughs> that sounds like every day is halloween around your house mm -hmm. <laughs> so the movie starts and i hear a deep voice begin talking at first oh. i thought maybe it must be a character off screen about to enter the frame. But then the voice gets louder and I start to make out what is being said. This man is explaining to his friends who J. Robert Oppenheimer is. As That's if, the movie! As if we weren't about to see it for oh. three hours. <laughs> oh, sorry. I That's could not believe my ears. His booming voice steadily rose as he continued to explain the entire life story of America's favorite bomb enthusiast. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but uh, the movie's getting in the way. I have to go up now. I have to talk louder now. Until he finally reached to the point of the movie we were at. Come on. Holy fuck. <laughs> Way. You gotta kick these people out if they're talking too much. I don't care if they dressed up like the movie. Yeah. No, I gotta talk louder. I talked to the manager and he's not gonna turn it down, <laughs> so I gotta yell. And that's when he meets Tyler. Oh, there he is. Oh, there, he is. <laughs> there he is. Thank God he's finally finished. That is, at least until we started uh, getting into the debate about whether or not to drop the bomb. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. 
This man begins obnoxiously loudly laughing at such comedic lines of, well, now that fascism has been stopped, communism is our greatest enemy. And if we don't drop the bomb, the Japanese will never surrender. Comedy gold, if you ask me. Yes. Just like Max Katie laughing in yeah. Oppenheimer. Man. I mean, you're dressed as Oppenheimer doing the opposite of Oppenheimer. You should be weepy. You should yeah. be like, oh. <laughs> he never oh. laughed. I don't think he ever laughed that son of a no, bitch. Man no, man never knew a laugh in his life. No, 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 no. no. Why All do right. you know if you're going to really do that? You got to stand up in the middle of the theater and you got to start fucking people's wives. You know? <laughs> if you're really yes, going to yes. fucking do That's it, just got to fucking, you know, take them out yes. for a drink and then fuck their wives. That's yeah. what you do. You, you tell Ruthie I'll be in Pasadena later this week. <laughs> I got to tell you, the biggest laugh I've had at the movie theater this year, now that it's been out for a while, Eric seen it four times, is towards the end of that movie when he's just like, when they're like, well, because you slept with his wife. And he's like, no, but he never knew that. So it doesn't count or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's my favorite they, yeah the dr tolman died of a broken heart yeah. thing and it's like well he never knew about it. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yeah i fucked his um, wife he was on the base i, fu I fucked everybody's wife was on the base but he didn't know specific that was the one of the ones i got caught so see, see the <laughs> more of them that i fuck the less chances i get caught fucking. you know this you is see, understand that because now that i've seen the movie four, four times i remember like that one moment of like oh there's everyone's having babies at, at los alamos it's like the passage yeah. of time but no he's just fucking putting them in <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's fucking fucking the whole base he's doing the that whole was thing. that was part of the compartmentalizing of that whole operation it's like they're over here working on this part they're over here working on this part and i'm fucking all the wives so they don't have to worry about fucking their mm. wife i'm making the babies yeah the matt, dude was organized he was organized matt damon was saying wrap it up with the containment of the fucking base <laughs> all right <clears throat> finally as yeah. credits start to roll and the well-earned applause begins this man Stands up at his seat and begins addressing the crowd. You've got to be kidding. Get no. out of here. Soaking in the cheers as if you truly were Oppenheimer. What a character. Uh -huh. You know what? It's like it's like this. And uh, you remember this was like a couple years back. Maybe just like last year. I don't know. Uh, there was a video that went around of like there was a movie theater where the, the projector had a malfunction and. Yeah. you know they were taking some time to fix it or whatever so like to kill the time oh the woman this woman the, was doing yeah. stand up or yeah. whatever oh my these God. are the occasions where we throw no. sodas yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's just you gotta do and, it and just like soak the person because like this is unacceptable behavior in public no, yes go get is. a refill come bring it back in and then the whole soda goes on him i think mm -hmm. you, you don't yeah you'll yeah. get the, you'll get a free refill just tell him you spilled it they'll just let i don't care no, because otherwise it's just going to be ice at the end of a, a show. <laughs> Man, that's obnoxious. Yeah, it is. So with that story told, my question for you guys is, have you ever uh, had someone who was so into a movie that it completely ruined a theater experience for you? Well wishes and big hope you'll do a show in Chicago soon, Tyler. Thank you, Tyler. We're a little overdue, I honestly, I would say, for Chicago. I would love Coming to back. go back yeah. to Chicago. A touch overdue. Um, Figure that out at some point. Halloween H2O opening night, there was a guy dressed as Michael Myers scaring people, which is a good move. You well, know, sure. that's mm. about uh -huh. it. Yeah, that was it. I mean, I do think uh, it'd be funny if Oppenheimer was scaring people with the bomb <laughs> <on 'cause> it... <laughs> Grab the yeah. shoulders, kind of a thing. Uh, oh, no, no, he, damn it, he fucked my wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, that just reminded me, Steve. This it, this was like a coordinated thing, like by the studio. But you saying that about H two O reminded me when I saw the Halloween twenty eighteen at uh, Toronto uh, in twenty eighteen. Um, they had a dude just dressed as Michael Myers walking around the theater and like during the intro, like he was like appearing in the balcony and they'd like oh. blare the theme song and shit. It was kind of cool. Yeah. That's, the dude that's was doing a good job. Right? Yeah, he's, like he's paid. He's yeah, paid yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Exactly. I mean, I, I'm sure there's a thousand examples. I just can't think of a specific one right now. I, 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 I got people something... annoy the fuck out of me. <laughs> uh -huh. I got something similar, but it wasn't a movie. Although, there is a very popular movie where this happens. So my sister, when she was in college, was in a production of Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, and so she's in Rocky Horror. And, you know, when you see the movie, you know, they have all the like the call outs and stuff. You know, the people yell at the screen and everything like that. And like, 
I guess this dude was just doing that in this college production of it. Yeah. And like, what? and he's and he's like spitting out these like yell at the screen things, but like just at people. <laughs> yeah, you don't do that. And he's in the front row of this like yeah. tiny black box theater. And like, yeah. so they would say a line, you know, and then the whole thing is like in the movie you squeeze in lines and yeah. respond to shit in between lines so like this dude was j he'd be like blah 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 blah, blah. and then like the yeah. actor would talk yeah. and then like he was jamming and we we're talking to my sister afterwards and she was like some guy who knows those things really well told me that this guy was saying extra things that weren't included oh that's you can't be you can't be <laughs> you know. no and the whole the whole fucking time this pig was just yelling just I, yapping i think theater you can't just yell at no, no. there's no there's no no one else theater. was doing it like if, yeah. I guess it was, if it was a thing where like th it, that was part of the thing and the theater was all in it was on it advertised sure. as such yeah, yeah not a single other person was doing the participation in That's the call outs. We, we we did that once and never again it's i can't really, imagine it, it's profoundly unfun no. uh, <laughs> the, ro the rocky horror screening or yeah the rocky the horror screening where people are talking during the thing yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, like, and everyone has it, it's like it's all a but script every, and it's it's all really weird. Oh, like, it's scripted, I, huh? Well, no, it's, it's all, yeah. You're, you're right, supposed right, to right. say certain things. But does it time. get randy? It does, and it gets a little, at least it's the one too randy. At least the script that they were going from, which I imagine is the early 70s one, it gets a little homophobic at parts, <laughs> like some F-bombs, but it's like funny, and it's like, ah, I'm well, not crazy about Maybe that. they're taking it back, I don't know. Yeah, I guess. I I'll mean, have to investigate this. Later. It's none of my business. <laughs> it's, I, I didn't care for it. Yeah, no, it's it's aggressively not for me. Uh, mm -hmm. Although I do like the movie quite a bit. I, the I movie, love the movie's great. music. The movie's yeah. Fantastic. yeah, it's just yeah, that's that is aggressively not for me. Uh, so, all right, we're gonna get to cues in a second, gang. But this is the big, big Patreon announcement. This is the this big is, one. It's a big. It's we're a big drop deal. The this big is, one. This is something that uh, you know uh, our listeners both on Patreon and also more importantly off Patreon have been wanting for a while now, folks. Uh, and starting with the start of season 14, so next week with our uh, episode one redux, on the $8 and up feed on the Patreon, you guessed it, ad-free We Hate Movies Prime, folks. That's yep. right. Releasing that's at the same time, about. right? That's Releasing the, that's at the same time. Releasing yep. at the same time. Simultaneously. But we're not that's going right. back. It's going forward from Star Wars Episode One. Correct. All of these episodes week by week if you hang on to that patreon you will get an ad free experience and not only that you get i guess it's probably like a bonus show every week as well yeah with, i mean yeah, you get the nexus Gleep glossary yep. you get commentary tracks yep you get animation damnation you get the we love movies episode the big old episode on yep. a movie we like there's That's a right. lot there yeah, yeah. john in the back room doesn't want you to hear about this <laughs> <laughs> sure <laughs> But I'm we're telling not telling you, anyway. you the, we're not telling you the crummy crummies, folks. This is no, the real deal. The, the real good ones. And at the ten dollar <laughs> level, obviously, you also get uh, the Melrose two one zero and the ad free and all that other great stuff. And you get uh, once in a lifetime as well. So eight That's to right. ten bucks is what we're asking. It's all we're asking, folks. It's just eight to ten dollars <laughs> for, for for the price of a glass of beer. <laughs> you could have all of that. These but Jack right. Kirby T-shirts don't pay for themselves, folks. <laughs> uh, but you know, because I know a lot of people, you know, over the last like week or so, were just kind of curious about things and whatnot. So you know, just to put it out there, even though we are back to being an independent show, there's still going to be ads. So yes. you know, oh, yeah. if that's something that you, you know, don't don't dig on or you know whatever. Now, every single We Hate Movies episode will come with an ad-free option on our Patreon at the $8 level or up. I love it. I like, right. I like, the, uh, I like the used car salesman yeah. font I put <laughs> yeah. on this. I just, I just fucking completely destroyed Philippe's beautiful art just putting ad-free. Right. It's a suckers. fucking call for guitar lessons. They are fully loaded and ad free on that Patreon. You're going to want to look at this. This is a value up and down the wazoo. Now, now you might want to take a tab off. You can't rip anything off of that. That was nope, just nope. a normal graphic on your computer. <laughs> you can't call nobody. You can't you can't rip no tab. I'm sorry. Oh, you can't call nobody indeed. Um so there it is, gang. That's that's the the big the big news going into season 14. Ad free. We Hate Movies Prime is now an option. Yes, and we hope you join us on Patreon.com slash We Hate Movies. That's what yeah, makes all this right. possible, folks. All yeah. of it. That's right. All that's right. of it. 
so I'm I'm scrolling back now because here's the thing, you know, I, I sort of I flubbed this because uh -oh. everybody got so fucking excited about the ad free option. I think it just blew a bunch of questions right out of the water here. So I'm look I'm scrolling Ooh. back looking for just literally just question marks. Uh <laughs> well the first question, Eric was not that man in the Oppenheimer uh cosplay. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Uh, we, it wasn't oh. someone talking about Eric, even though he was at all the screenings of Oppenheimer that took place in August throughout this country. I almost did it a fifth time, but I decided not to. <laughs> at that point, you at least have to see Barbie one more time just to even I saw it, it twice. Out. Oh, well, I okay. guess there yeah, you you're right. I need to level it out. <laughs> <clears throat> So, oh, here's a question. Why don't you oh. walk your fat ass into traffic? That's, <laughs> that's rude. I have, that's I, have really... some, I have some answers about that. I don't want to. I want to. Uh, see, so, so look at this. So, Philippe, of course, watching. It'll be a proper <laughs> ad free graphic. Thank you, bud. That's uh, going to be in the next 20 minutes. I guarantee it. I love this yep. guy. Uh, so... Philippe just started vomiting seeing that, uh, <laughs> the original one. Just, oh, what did they do? <laughs> uh, all right, so let's see. Someone here, a fellow Andrew, asks, What's on the TV? That's uh, Charles Chaplin's Monsieur Verdu, oh. is what that is. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, so here's someone. This might motivate us now because we get asked this so much, and someone uh, on Patreon I was uh, going back and forth with yesterday. Was even asking about it, but someone wants to know if we're getting another a special similar to the corn cast. We need to do it. You know, I what, think we should. We need to yeah. look at the schedule and put it on there. Uh, this is on us, not on you folks. Yes, um, yeah, no. Signif um, significant other. Yeah, yes, it's it got to be, be the biscuit, yeah, it, dude. Yeah, I think it would have to be right. Yeah. yeah. Um. Oh, good, so good album, FYI. <laughs> we'll debate that album. eventually. <laughs> that might be like a Christmas offering for you folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that idea. Uh, so here we go. So this is something uh, we've kind of like touched on. I believe maybe we mentioned it on the last um, uh, on screen live, but someone asked, do we have any thoughts on the upcoming Exorcist uh, reboot? Re oh, re yeah. Continue, requel. It looks bad. <laughs> it looks bad, dude. It looks like a bad yeah. movie. I don't know. I, I, I like the first Halloween remake and I like some of the stuff that Gordon Green does for sure. Yeah. But this looks like a bad movie. It looks like it's it's poorly conceived. We're doubling up on The Exorcist. It's just yeah. I just I don't know why does this got to be two girls possessed? Mm -hmm. Like it's just I uh, I don't know. And here's the thing: like I was nervous when I heard about the Halloween reboot or yeah. you know recontinue whatever. Yeah. But then when I saw the trailer, I was like, oh yes, this I was like oh you know what i mean so mm. I, I, prove me wrong folks it, I, mean, I would love to be proven wrong well because it's not like you know there's others where like uh some franchise like it's oh, one's good the other isn't like there's been yeah. two good exorcist movies and the rest of them are trash yeah, like, yeah. It, and, and the sh there was like some show version of it too i yeah. think yeah, it's for a not, few seasons. Yeah, it's, it's not really a rife franchise. It's no. a it's a really a one off. And one, I mean, one like, and yeah. three, those are the ones to watch. And it's just like you could just alone. you can just do an exorcism movie. You don't exactly. have to pay yeah. for the IP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's certainly a sea of exorcist possession -y movies. Like, you know. Oh, they're not in short supply. It doesn't I, have to be part of this franchise. Some of them are just as bad, if that's what you're looking for. Yeah, exactly. Oh, they're looking yeah. for movies oh, that are sure. just, The Exorcism of Emily Rose is a piece of shit. Uh, there's just <laughs> oh, no two ways about never that. Never saw one. it. Dude, Oof. there's going to be a, a flaming arrow through your window in like four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The one defender of The Exorcism of Emily Rose is finding my house. Uh, all right. So here's someone says, uh, so this happens on... Universal Soldier episode. This is in the finale of the VHS trailer game where I say I would have wanted to redo Judge Dredd mm. as uh, the episode if I had won, which was never going to happen. Huh. Um, but as this person agrees, would have been great. But Chris and Steve, what would you have uh, redone, Ooh. Chris? And also, Steve, if you had been eligible? Um, I think I I was in the same vein as Eric, but... Yeah, you were talking Phantom I Menace talk, I, I was talking about Phantom Menace, but I think I actually probably would have gone with Revenge of the Sith because I actually am a huge defender. But, I love that movie. But I really, we only really we did that, that as a commentary, so that's still on the table. That's yeah, not really that, a reason. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, we I mean, could just do that. We can just yeah, do would, it, Chris. I might, I might have asked for that as my uh, be able to trade off there because I do. Mm. I really like that movie, and I would have yeah. I would have loved to have been a defender in that room. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, well, one to be fair, I already got mine, which is Superman three and four. I, I <laughs> oh right, yeah. I, I, I just because those are like mm-hmm. so so dear to me, those movies, yeah. and to be able to redo them was fun because I, you know, we were we weren't at the top of our game at the time, and I really like yeah. to redo it. Uh, you know, just it's in my head because I kind of want to rewatch that movie. I'd love to see what we would do with body parts again. See what that. <laughs> oh would look sure, like. yeah. Right. Is, is that, that the it's... Brad Dourif movie? Yes, with uh, mm-hmm. uh what's his Fahey? Jeff Fahey, yeah. yeah. Jeff yeah. Fahey, yeah. Okay, Eric. Oh Rad. man, I just saw this Jeff Fahey movie with Bo Derek, and that sex scene was wild. Oh, is that right? Wow. She she getting in his chest hair or what? Oh, yeah, dude. Oh wow, uh, body body parts not eligible. Episode one twenty five. So I was way oh. off. Oh, oh, that's right. We were only doing episodes that were in the archive. Oh, yeah. okay. Shit, yeah. Um, all right, so here's another Q. Uh, great fucking username Joe Blow asks, Uh, what TV shows have been, we been watching this summer? Ooh. Uh, like I said, I telemarket sta- is probably one of my favorite shows right, right now. Yeah, yeah, I start a lot and then just marinate by not watching it. Like, I need to, <laughs> I need to watch that Justified new season. I'm, I only watched a few episodes of that so far. We have three episodes of the bear and we've had three episodes of the oh, bear to finish bear forever. And excellent. it's such a good show. It's also such a good show. Righteous gemstones was good this summer. I yes. didn't get there yet. I want to. Uh, yeah, that bear is no joke. Chelsea and I watched that in like a week and a half. Um, and I'll say I, I was, I was plugging it like before we went on break, but I seriously think that season uh, two of star Trek, strange new worlds, that's a flawless season of television. I don't think there's a bad episode in it. It's all good to great episodes of really fucking great Star Trek. I have to say, I, I've been meaning to get on it. I I I I want a second. A se- I mean, telemarketers. It's Oof. three episodes long, folks. Yes, this is just beautiful <laughs> television. Don't fucking waste my time. Is my biggest thing with <laughs> yeah. TV shows, and that's three episodes, and it's perfect. Uh, also, How To With John Wilson has been phenomenal this season. It has. Oh, I got to get on it. God damn mm-hmm. it. Oh. And if you want to waste your time, watch Ahsoka on <laughs> Disney+. Plus. Oh, yeah. I, dude, I don't I gotta, like it, folks. At I least got, not yet. We'll see what happens. I have tried to start watching that like three times in the last week on my lunch break. I'm like, this is the time. Uh-huh. I'm going to watch it. And then like, I'm like, what if I watch The Simpsons and then played a lot of Zelda? Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> You're totally fine, dude. I have to say, I'm so far with the two episodes I've seen, and I see that another one released 45 minutes ago, but um, I am just really disappointed that it, it appears to just be like chasing the cartoon and undoing the end of the cartoon. I thought it was a, it would have been a cool opportunity to do something different with this character, but it is, and I don't have anything against Rebels. What I've seen of it, I've enjoyed, but like it is so beholden to yeah. Rebels that it's just a live action next season. And I, it's watched, very, I, I don't it's want very the, disappointing. I don't need to have Wikipedia open the entire time to enjoy something. I don't yes, want to have exactly. Wikipedia open to enjoy something. I watched all of Rebels and pretty much more or less enjoyed it all, and I hate this. You yeah, know? There you go. yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll see. Um, oh, this is I like this one. Uh, Daniel asks, "What terrible movie musical would we produce at the Winter Garden Theater?" Mm. Uh, so, if we were going Ooh, to make a shitty, question. like a oh, movie, into a shitty movie musical, and the Winter uh, Garden is notorious for this. They got Back to the Future there right now, and they. I, this is also where I saw Rocky the musical. Rocky yeah. was there. Oh, Rocky yeah. Yeah. Rock was there. Just okay. because. <laughs> I got Rosario on the brain. I got to go with Larry Clark's kids. Uh, you of know, of course, yeah, yeah, that's a good We're one. We're just kids. <laughs> 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 Uh, We're yeah. getting touched. <laughs> da, 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 ba, bum, no, bum. And no look single, at my nope. pubic bone. Ba, ba, beep, ba, boop, ba, do, do. How about the last, the last scene? Why don't you do that song? <laughs> I will. <not>. Ca- <laughs> Casper, where is Casper? <laughs> oh, <laughs> where did he yeah. yeah. Oof. Um, not such a friendly ghost. <laughs> do, 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 do. Come on. <laughs> what about? Uh, what about? Uh, this could possibly exist uh, already, but Exorcist the musical. Oh yeah, oh, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of that, right? I mean, Evil fun. Dad has one. Yeah. Uh, your mother, your mother, your mother, your mother sucks cocks in hell. <laughs> your mother, your mother, your mother sucks cocks in hell. Ba, 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 da, da. I mean, the real answer here is I just want to re- recreate this Simpsons Planet of the Apes musical. Oh, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> yes. That would be the dream, right? Of course. There you go. And if you if you made it 
like that. Like not a Planet of the Apes musical. Yeah. The Simpsons, yes, specific. Mm-hmm. Someone's the playing Troy McClure playing. I, yeah, I, I'm assume <laughs> I assume it's happened somewhere in Texas already. But a musical about Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Would oh be yeah, sure, fun, yeah. I Ooh, I look, if they could, that. I have seen both a Carrie musical and an Evil Dead musical. Mm-hmm. So you could do a Texas Chainsaw musical. Please. It's there. Sure. It's it's absolutely yes. there. Uh, that Carrie musical was something the fuck else, let me tell you. Um, uh, someone asks, we get another uh, Harry Potter commentary for the year. Is that more in the uh, in the far distant future? That's going to happen, I think, right? We, yeah, that's, yes, uh, that's, that's we're, gonna, it's all we're, gonna, we're doing the good one. We're, we're, we're finally yes. doing the good we're one, starting, everybody. We're turning the good one? <laughs> yes, there's one good one. I would the ones after it are fine, but this yeah. is the one really good one. Well, this is it's one that resets movie. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. For, for the yeah. good times. Uh, all right, we'll take uh, just a, just a couple more here. Let's see if I can find some more. Oh, there was an eruption over Ahsoka. Uh, oh, I see someone oh. mentioning the American Psycho musical, which I also went to see, and it, oh, yeah, really? it was fine. Oh, okay. I've seen a Science uh, of the Lambs one. Uh, oh, they skipped yeah. over a lot. <laughs> <laughs> skipped over a lot. Um, are we interested in playing Starfield? I don't no. know what Starfield is. It's, it's a game. They just released some uh, gameplay from it. It's been in production I, for like forever. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's a buffet. Well, I don't know what the studio's Bethesda name is. Games, they it, did Skyrim, which I kind of uh-huh. like. So okay. I'm actually interested in checking it out. Oh, and nice. I, ha- I have not purchased a PlayStation 5, so I think I might pick up the Xbox and check it out. I am Ooh. like this close to legally finishing Zelda. I'm like, I'm Whoa, like, I got really? I got everything. I got all my ducks are lined up, and I Yo. just got to <laughs> do it. But I'm like, what if I find a couple more shrines? But once I do that, <laughs> and I, I, I just want to finish that game and then put it away for a while. I, I am. That's kinda- I am still trying to find side quests in the back of my teeth. Yes, like just yeah. little fucking things, <laughs> anything to do in that world. But yeah, yeah. I've I've gone into. The depths under the castle, but I have not done anything past that. Yeah. Can I tell you, I went, I went uh, like into the depths, and the whole like not being able to see shit freaked me out, and I haven't been back. <laughs> what? Uh, it just it, it felt so like oddly claustrophobic to yeah, me for whatever reason yeah. that I got freaked the fuck out, and I I warped up through the ground, and yeah. I have not been back. I, I went to like attack the castle finally, yeah. and I was getting my ass absolutely handed to me. And when that happens, sometimes I'm like, huh. And yeah. so I just, I haven't played in like three weeks. There's, there's stuff you need down there, man. You got to get back yeah, down there. Yeah, I, I, this to tell you this between me and Andrew, I, I went down there and I was like, there, once I saw a light route and I turned it on, I was like, oh, I got to find all these now. And like, yeah. I spent about two weeks just lo- <laughs> lighting up the whole place, finding every light route I could find. And except for the ones that like you had to go to somewhere special to drop down into. Ooh. I'm, I'm half and half and I've, so I've done every it's really it's right there and i'm like you know what dude just do it finish yeah. it and then maybe you might be able to read a book again and i'm like that's interesting yeah. that's yeah. an interesting yeah. idea don't yeah. do that no no you don't do that <laughs> oh hey speaking of books i finished dune you guys Did I tell oh, you really? there you go yeah good. Nice. It's, it's, it's really cool yeah oh, i'm good. pissed i now have to wait till fucking march to watch the end of that but uh it's, god what are you gonna do um yes. it's so stupid to move that to march yeah, someone it's asked a, me of any new records. Um, yeah, uh, I got the um, the remastered. Uh, Stop making sense. Uh, sorry, Steve. What, what were you saying? I totally cut you off. I didn't say a word. Oh, I, th- I thought you went to say something we were talking about. Oh, anyway. Nope. Um, all right, let's see. Let's find one more cue before we wrap it up for the evening here. Wrap um, it up, Oppy. You got <laughs> wrap it up, <laughs> Oppy. Uh, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, well, someone in the meantime says. Pro tip, light roots are in the same place on the map as shrines. Holy fuck, I actually yeah. didn't put that together. I didn't right. put that together either, FYI. That'll, yeah. that, oh, that'll yeah. make that easier. Boy. Thank you. That's Thank you. Boy. See, that's why the chat's fucking great. Uh, <laughs> all right, this one. All right, we'll end with this one. We can all answer it, but it's specifically, I think, directed at Chris Cabin. Uh, Lance asks, uh, they have a question, but mostly just for Chris. Are we excited for Saw X? I mean, it's going to be awful, so yeah. <laughs> um, I, I'm, 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 it's, I, I'm, I'm, I'm interested that they're like trying to find like they really did. I mean, we talked about this, I think, on the live stream when we did, but like uh, the, the fact that they were just like, we've got to find a way to bring Tobin Bell back. Yeah. yeah. But look, it's time machine or prequel. That's all we. That's all we can do here, people. <laughs> oh that's all we God. got. I was for prequel ish. 
I mean, I, I don't like any of those movies. That's a, a famously on. I gotta say, I'm intrigued by this new setup. It's an interesting yeah. him in yeah. Mexico getting yeah. getting greased by some fucking people and being like, "What did you spend my money on?" Like, kind of a thing. It's yeah. kind of exciting is, to me. Is he? But that that's the thing. Is I need him. If that's where we're going with this. Yeah. I need him like talking to Mel Gibson to get his guns or so. Yeah, like <laughs> like Mel Gibson is his engineer that helps him like fucking build these things. I need a little bit more because like it's fucking it's it's you killing a whole Mexican hospital. Like, well, here's I, what it is, dude. He you know so it's like the old like urban legend or something. Like he wakes yeah, up in yeah. a fucking bathtub filled with ice and he got ripped off by like this fake Mexican hospital or whatever. And he calls up Mel Gibson, who's his buddy, like you know mm, south of the border or whatever, yeah, and he's like. I need to get back into the garage. And (laughs) Mel Gibson comes and he's got the key to this huge padlock and he opens this thing and it's a Mexico set fucking John Kramer workbench area. Love it. All the gears in the world. Every gear he could ever want. Yep. (laughs) Instead, Mel Gibson is opening up the Continental. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, thank you. Like that's know, uh, no, thank you. That's how if you really wanted to fix Saw X, the one way you could have done it, nobody thought of it, or maybe they just didn't want to. You get S. Craig Zoller in there, baby. Yeah, you got if, if, if it's gonna be fucking crazy shit like this, yeah, oh. crazy man in there. Yes, finally, I would have my question answered. What does it feel like to watch a two hour and 48 minute Saw movie? <laughs> Saw X, white man's burden. No, yes. thank you, <laughs> yes. it, Steve. It's already that. Yeah. Come much. on, it's, it's right true. there. Just go it for is. it. If it, is. Do it. <laughs> uh, but that is gonna do it for this uh, WHM mailbag edition, folks. Just to wrap up. Available now, Universal Soldier, live in Phoenix, wherever you get pods. Tickets are on sale for the WHM Holiday Spectacular at White Eagle Hall in Jersey City, New Jersey, where we are talking Tim Allen in the Santa Claus. Mm. Uh, The season 14 premiere is next Tuesday, as dictated by our good friend Eric Siska. We are redoing Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. Uh, And then September the 11th at noon Eastern, right here on this very YouTube channel, on screen live, our movie industry, pop culture industry chat show returns uh, back and better than ever. Uh, And two Patreon updates right now at the $5 level and up, brand new, modified, easy to download, organized and put together by Eric Siska. Well done, sir. Uh, Because it's fucking ball breaking and I definitely did not want to do it. (laughs) uh new archive that you can download there's an rss feed you paste it right into wherever you get your pods you can download those episodes no more janky google drive and then finally the big one folks uh patreon.com slash we hate movies at the eight dollar level and up starting next tuesday we'll be offering that's right ad free we hate movies prime episodes on the date that the episodes drop on the free feed if you are a subscriber at the eight dollar level and up you'll be able to get the same exact episode sans advertisement. Now, well, yeah. That was a lot folks. of information. I can't believe I did that. that was, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for going through all that. That's, that's really, really extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of which, fuck, that's right. Also on the Phantom Menace episode, Eric will reveal to us who the uh, cameo the is. Cameo. Cameo. Right now, none of us know but Eric. No right one now. knows, yeah. but it's locked and loaded, and it's coming next week, folks. That's right. Uh, so we are going to kick off, but you will hear from us uh, this coming Tuesday talking about Star Wars Phantom Menace. And Steve has about 68 minutes left to go. Uh, what was it? 47 minutes? What do you have left? 39. 30. Oh, all right. All right. Okay. You can do it. Uh, yeah, you can I can make that. it. <laughs> all right, gang. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. Until next time, I've been Andrew Jupin. Steven Sadak. Eric Siska. Chris Cabin. Take it easy. Good night, folks. Bye bye. Mm-hmm.